understanding. I close my eyes. I feel the weight of my body and my feet anchored to the ground. My arms fall quietly and naturally to the side. I calm down my body. I separate my teeth, but I keep my mouth closed. Place my spine, hip, knees, ankles, all joints alienated, comfortable, relax but not asleep. On the outside, I am motionless, but on the inside, I stay active. I breathe. I feel the air coming in through my nose and it filling up my lungs. And from time to time, I decide to fill up my belly with air. It relaxes me. Sometimes I need to take a deep breath to reposition myself, to oxygenate myself deeply. And the sound of my breathing is my own soundtrack, my tempo. I am here in silence, waiting. I wait. I wait and I keep calm because I feel good, connected. I feel like a tree. I am rooted and there's no need to go anywhere. I'm rooting and I notice the wind moving my hair. And I notice that I grit my teeth and I separate them again. Images keep coming in my head. Whenever I'm doing this performance, these same images come over again. I mainly imagine two things. One is a journey into the interior of the earth. I imagine my feet sinking and I notice the warmth inside the earth. And I'm quietly entering, getting deeper, going down. I reach the interior of the earth and its depths in its entrails. The other thing I imagine and visualize is that I have roots growing under my feet. These roots are long strong and through them I can feel the seismic movements of the earth these roots sink and reach all parts of the earth up to the other end of the planet my 
My body is still and present in the same moment. But my mind travels to the interior of the earth with the need to listen to it, to notice it. And I also wait for the earth to breathe, to move, to tell me something. I used technology to do it, with implants, sensors, or with technological jewelry. I connect to online seismographs and to the seismic activity. Every time there's an earthquake somewhere in the world, I notice a vibration inside my body. Every time there's an earthquake, I move. And depending on the intensity of the earthquake, my movement is more or less intense. My role is like a medium, like a channel of translation, an interpreter of giant movements through a body, of seismic movements translated into dance. Earth is the choreographer and I dance when it moves. And I keep waiting. And it finally does it. I notice a vibration, which means the earth is moving. And if it that happens, I also move. My movement becomes a language, a translation of a huge movement and most of the time imperceptible. I translate it. I interpret it through my body, my movement, my dance.